Non-Americans of Reddit. What do your country's conspiracy theorists believe? Mexican here. Bringing you gems like. Covered hospital secretly kill you to extract any fluid. Worth thousands per liter in the black market. Infrared thermometers emit radiation that causes brain damage. Arc scimitars are used to steal your fingerprints and commit fraud. Really stupid things compared to what is sadly not a conspiracy theory. Knee fluid. Worth thousands per liter in the black market. Maybe that's what they use to make printer ink. It's actually used for blinker fluid. Only for BMW S. All other cars use elbow grease. Which are more abundant and cheaper. Don't they use those two things in warthogs? Two. Russia. All the problems in Russia come from the evil American, sometimes world, but mostly American, government. All of them. At some point it got so ridiculous that people created a joke that Obama personally shits in our elevators of apartment blocks every night. But when it's something stupid as anti-vaxxers that comes from the West, that's not the evil government. That's Western people fighting for freedom from their evil government, so they are welcome. So basically, Russia also uses the thanks Obama joke. Russia lives the thanks Obama joke. In Russia, Obama thanks you. Personally, he's very exhausted by now. Generally similar things. Thanks to the internet, tinfoil hatters can stay up to date on all of the conspiracies worldwide. I'm not aware of any specific Dutch conspiracies. Well that makes sense. Conspiracy theorists are sometimes faced with a perceived wrongdoing from their government. Their fixed beliefs run contrary to a set of given facts. So they try to connect the dots. And they make up the rest. The whole thing usually revolves around some trauma as well. Supposedly Denmark's government actually works for the people a little better than other countries. So unless you see Bigfoot you should be fine. France. We are the dig one country for anti-vaccine sentiment. Despite being the country that invented vaccine despite being the home of Louis Pasteur. Edit. Yeah fair enough. Jenna did it first. Really? Didn't back quote T no. That anti-vax was so popular in France. How come? Any reason which is specific to France. A lot of it has to do with the hepatitis vaccine in the 90s that was strongly pushed by the government. A lot of people got sick because of it, and mysteriously no one found out why. There was also the scandal of contaminated blood for transfusions in that same period. So it's not so much that people don't think vaccines are effective. More that the government is corrupt and incapable of delivering a safe product. Which to be fair has happened numerous times thought the world. That old covid reported deaths are fake and doctors are, in reality. Killing people to extract knee joint liquid, since it is worth more than gold. Also that 5G antennas are the ones causing covid. Mexico fuck yeah. Had to represent us somehow. I wish it was on a more positive note. Haha. <laughs> I feel you. Paisano. Aussie here when Victoria was in lockdown. There was a conspiracy where the state premier created the virus to put Victoria into lockdown, so the lockdown would cripple Victoria's economy, so it could be sold to China. Also that our prime minister shit himself at Amacus. I don't think that's a theory. Yeah that one's true. A phenomenon found only in Sweden. Some people are convinced they are allergic to electricity flying in the face of science. Nobody has been able to demonstrate that this allergy exists other than as a delusion. During the 1980s, a Soviet submarine ran aground in the Stockholm archipelago. The Soviets claimed it just lost its way. But in Sweden this began the period of the periscope sickness. Where scores of people reported seeing submarines deep into the archipelago, similar to the UFO phenomena. In spite of the Swedish Navy being beefed up year after year. Not a single Soviet submarine was captured or destroyed. It was later revealed that the Navy had been dropping depth charges on wrecks on the ocean floor and had been chasing sonar contacts that turned out to be made by animals and schools of fish. Not even the US thinks there's anything to this obsession. Also during the 80s, the Prime Minister of Sweden, Olaf Palm, was murdered by an unknown assailant. The investigation went off the rails almost immediately. Going after Swedish Kurds on the theory that the PKK was behind the Prime Minister's death. There were also various shady private investigators making fools of themselves. After the police gave up on the Kurdish trail, 
They arrested a junkie named Christ Pettersson. He was put on trial and found guilty. But on appeal he was found not guilty, mainly due to botched police procedures. In the meantime, another conspiracy theory started to take hold. Palm was assassinated by South Africa because of his support for the ANC, maybe by Swedish police officers. Much like the JFK conspiracy theories there's not much to this and it probably was Christa Pettersson acting alone who did it. Doesn't stop a few stalwarts to keep looking for the murder weapon though. Although by this point it is probably just a smear of rust on the bottom of some lake. During the 1990s, a cruise ferry named Estonia sank in the Baltic Sea leading to the death of over 1000 people. Various colorful theories about the cause of the sinking has sprouted. I don't know too much about them. But I've heard some believe Estonia collided with a Swedish submarine, or that the Ruskers bombed her, because Sweden was smuggling stolen military equipment from the Baltic states on her. I wouldn't go as far as to say that the submarine sightings are a conspiracy theory given that some incidents are more or less indisputable. The 1981 U-137 incident being the most apparent. HTTPS. N. M. Wikipedia. Org slash wiki slash Swedish underscore submarine underscore incidents. Anti-vaccine is pretty common in Turkey there are people who just reject treatment. I used to own a Turkish restaurant with a Turkish born and raised chef. Between him and some Turkish customers. I found out that pretty much everything I knew about world history. Since WWII. Was wrong. And that the CIA had actually been behind everything. Up to and including the World Trade Center attacks. And the Islamic stuff was a bit much. Neil Armstrong heard the voice of Allah on the moon. Salt water and fresh water can't mix. Etc. This sounds like I'm piling on. So I'll add this caveat. Great great people. So generous and nice. And the food. OMG. Turkish here. Never heard of a single one of those. But I never really hang out with religious people. And I wouldn't be surprised at all. If some really believed in shit like that. There's a popular genre of videos showing recordings of random animals or objects saying Allah. Some clearly dubbed over for the lols. And there'll always be some comments vouching for their divinity not ironically. So. Last year's mass protests being organized by Cuban Venezuelan Marxists who like K-pop. Colombia. Chile HTTPS. Slash slash www. Newsweek com slash Chilean government blames K-pop recent protests 1,479,151. But I can see the story going alike in other Latin American countries. The whole, big data, https, slash slash Chileto day, cl slash from K-pop to ice meal serrano the big data scandal slash, report they used to base, that claim got eventually debunked. But I can't find an English source for now. But I can see the story going alike in other Latin American countries. Ah yes. Scrotting as Cuba. So poor because communism bad. And yet so powerful that they have a hand in every conspiracy in the region. Yes. We have those right wing nut jobs in Argentina too. The German president is a lizard person and Hitler is still alive. Even if Hitler managed to escape when the war ended instead of offing himself. 1945 was 75 years ago, and he was 56 years old at the time. Hitler is dead. Either by suicide or old age. He's not coming back. Sheesh don't you know he found the fountain of youth, and then escaped to his personal moon base. Fucking moron. Everyone knows he founded New Berlin in Antarctica where the cold has preserved him for the last 75 years. No. He's being preserved in the same freezer there keeping Walt Disney's head. Not country specific, but Bob Marley isn't dead. Just lives on a private island along with a load of other famous people like Kurt Cobain. Freddie Mercury. Anyone whose death isn't fully proven. Tupac and Bruce Lee there too. And how do I get there? One hypothesis is that you can get there using the Kurt Cobain method. How? By playing guitar and screaming into a mic. David Icke has a following. Been banged I believe on YouTube was a famous footballer over here in the UK years back then had a change of heart. Not sure if people believe it or not. Lizard people etc. I know a lot of people who believe this dude multidimensional lizard people lol. 
a lesser known conspiracy theory, but in Britain some people think Mira Hindley isn't actually dead and the government just pretended she was so as to avoid the bad press of having to release her from prison. As a Brit I've never heard this. It's not that common really. I never heard it until recently. Was really hoping for I never heard it until I typed it just now. Taiwan is really into cults. They also have people who think they are secretly a US state or still a colony of Japan https slash slash popular com slash 2019 slash 01 slash 22 slash island of scams slash that's not how being a state works lol yeah that's pretty funny here in the UK I think the biggest one is that Princess Diana was murdered because she was dating some Muslim dude and the royal family didn't approve. In Jordan some people believe that King Hussein took salary from Israel for giving them some classified information. Canada here, no pictures of Pierre Trudeau standing next to Margaret Atwood. They are one and the same person. I like the one about Castro being Justin Trudeau's real dad. We are talking about theories here my friend. Not about facts. But honestly though. That's the one conspiracy theory I've decided that I want to believe it's true. Because it is. That 1080 poison used to control Aotearoa, New Zealand. S hugely destructive invasive mammal population. Bloody possums. Stoats and cats is actually being used to kill all native birds in order to keep making the Department of Conservation powerful and stop hunters from being able to hunt. Utter nonsense. 1080 is a horrible poison. Which I hate. But it's the only effective solution we have that doesn't do more harm than good. Most of our diehard greeners slash conservationists start off despising it. But once they see the actual results, change their minds. Can't convince a lot of people, though. That and all the usual imported Q nonsense. Everyone around me is anti 1080. I gave up even discussing it with people. They're so passionate about it. I live in Southland. So many fuck 1080 bumper stickers. I'm from Southland originally. Now on the west coast. You can't go a block in my town without an anti 1080 sign slash sticker slash graffiti. Chemtrails and barcodes are used to brainwash everyone. Those were actually topics at a local political rally a few years back. Local products crossed out barcodes by hand to cater to the insanity. How are barcodes supposed to be brainwashing people? <laughs>